Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to another video. This is another basketball reaction and the video we're doing today is when celebrating too early goes terribly wrong. This is going to be like one of those sort of instant karma type videos and if that's the case, oh I am ready for this. I've seen like clips in sport, um, like when players like celebrate and they'll sort of like, sh not show it, but they'll sort of like celebrate it's, like, specifically in the opposition's face to sort of try and glow in a sense. And then two seconds later, they still like the other team go up the other end and score and then do it back. Or just things along those lines. Like I'm guessing in this case it's going to be in high sort of risk situations. Maybe I'm not too sure, but it's going to be a bang, like a bang of a video because Jimmy Hyrola. And it's actually been quite a long time since I've last done a reaction to one of his videos, which is crazy because I would say he is my favourite content creator, like sports content creator that I've ever seen. Because he just like the way he sort of has his stats, like he sort of he you can tell he goes in depth and he does insane amounts of research for his videos. And yeah, it shows when you watch it. But yeah, let's get into this. So let's see what this is about. It's a bit different because I'm not in a story type video for like, I say story type, but like a sort of like an in-depth sort of, I don't even know what I'm saying here. I'm rambling. But yeah, I've not really done a video like this for the longest amount of time. But yeah, let's check what this is about and see what, see what he's got for us to do. Back in 2013, one of the most historic moments in NBA history unfolded right before us when Ray Allen hit the shot of his life, sending game six of the NBA finals into overtime, so big time and eventually okay. leading to a game seven victory and a championship. This is arguably one of the most clutch shots <laughs> in NBA one. history. If Ray Allen misses this, the Heat lose, done deal. <sighs> what a moment. Looking back, most NBA fans would jump at the opportunity to witness history live, up close mm. and in person. Man. Well, most fans would but not these people with less than 30 seconds left in the fourth oh quarter God. oh no them people are the worst i tell you what this is a, i'm guessing this is just a sport problem then because i see it in soccer so much it actually pisses me off i mean i get why they do it i mean if you're losing and there's like two minutes to go or whatever it's 30 seconds to go it does make sense as to leaving early because obviously like if you leave like when everyone else leaves the traffic's going to be insane it's going to be like awful queues i guess you have to just like sort of wait to get out but man if you like i'm guessing they might they may not actually support like in this case the spurs but still like leaving at uh, this early like leaving early I, i've never i've never understood it i've never understood it man but like i guess they have circumstances but they're gonna regret it yeah we're gonna they're gonna they're gonna regret it in this one man of a win or go home finals game that is separated by four big points. time moment as well fans or should i say it's not just a normal game posing as fans i'm sorry it's not just a normal game and they still left that oh man but he's what he's saying here maybe that makes sense like the posing wearing heat gear promptly left their seats and exited the stadium <sighs> we are that. talking about one of the biggest moments in basketball within the last decade and people are leaving to beat the traffic. Mm. Hey, I understand you Bet have to be up early in the morning, Karen. But you Karen. already paid six hundred dollars for the ticket. Would it kill you to stay another few minutes? And witness in? history. I don't know. Witness history. Oh. <laughs> but leaving early was only half of their troubles. Because as we know, Ray Allen hit this shot and the game went into overtime. So instead of just going home like they so desperately they wanted back. to do thirty seconds ago. The same bandwagon fans who left early tried to re-enter to watch overtime. Literally up, piling up at the door to get back into the game. But you deserve that. Fed up. Imagine I'm happy seeing that. Dollars for a ticket to a finals game just to leave early, just to try Man. to re-enter with no success and having the entire thing broadcasted in front of millions. Get your way ass out, <laughs> but at least these people were able to see the team that they pretended to be a fan of win, even if it was through a glass door. <laughs> Back in 2010, fans of a Croatian basketball team weren't so lucky. It's May 4th. These two teams, which I oh, refuse I to point. even attempt to pronounce, are battling it out Part for a like championship. One. Black is Serbia, white is Croatia. The game has already been sent to overtime, and with just eight seconds left on the clock, Serbia is ahead by just one point. Croatia fouls Lawrence Roberts, sending him to the line to shoot two free throws. He's already missed four free throws throughout the game, but if he sinks these two, he'll put Serbia up by three. No biggie. Just hit a couple shots, and the championship 
is your oh <laughs> uh, what the hell was okay. that the way well, that bounced was back you still have one more shot just take your time <laughs> and sink the shot he's missing it he's missing oh damn <laughs> With eight seconds left on the clock, Croatia pushes the ball up the floor and kicks it to Bojan Bogdanovic in the corner. He rises up and sinks the three. With virtually Bogdanovic no well, time man. left on the clock, Croatia has stolen the championship on a last second shot. The players are pumped. The fans are going wild. What an amazing moment for this organization. Okay, what's... Wait, no, wait, 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 wait. Did they think the time was over? What an amazing moment for this organization. Oh! Oh my god. No, this is no, no. Okay, no. Oh my god. This video is confused. I was confused at what happened. Did he just shoot from his own... They're celebrating. He shoots from his own... Like, from literally the opposite side of the court. The fans are going wild. What an amazing oh, no, moment half for this organization. <laughs> they were just celebrating, bro. You idiots. <laughs> oh, mate. That is mental. <laughs> Listen to the commentators as well. European commentators is something else. With bro. barely enough time to even get a shot up, Mate. a Serbian player throws up a prayer from 60 feet and drills it. The Croatian team is. Stuck. Look at them! <laughs> they cannot believe what just happened. Look at that's your They're fault. At the refs, searching for answers, <laughs> but there are none. Instead of getting back on defense, they were busy celebrating while simultaneously losing the championship. Mate, that and is absolutely insane! Auburn's men's basketball team last season ended in similar fashion. <sighs> this is nuts! I love this. This is one of my favorite videos, man. I'm not even gonna lie. These are the sights and sounds of a fan base overwhelmed with excitement because their team is heading to the NCAA championship game. Except, they're not. Oh, nice. See, last season, Auburn and Virginia faced off in a Final Four matchup. After 40 minutes of intense back and forth play, Auburn finds themselves up by two points with just 1.5 seconds left on the clock. All Auburn needs to do is play solid defense for a second and a half <laughs> and not commit a foul. Oh, no. They're heading to the NCAA championship. The line, looking, looking. It's Guy from the corner. From the win. Oh. Wait, what? Wait. Well. Wait. Oh, so. Oh, my God. What the hell? Well. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Listen to me, man. It's so sarcastic. Over for Auburn. A great season. Sucks it had to end the way it did. But at least. What? What's that? What does that sound? <laughs> Are those Auburn fans cheering? <laughs> Wait, what? Did they just think they won? Did they leave the stadium early or something? In the midst of all of this craziness, Auburn fans thought that the game had ended with Cow Guys missed three. They oh thought nice. their team was going to the championship. And for some odd reason, they're chanting SEC instead of their own school's name. But while they're celebrating in the streets, their team is losing the game. Wait. Of course, they wouldn't know that because they're, well, Bandwidth. in the streets, oh. not. Why did they leave? Were, were these people in the stadium? Or did they just like watching it? But it didn't take long for these fans to realize <laughs> what just happened. And instead of admitting to their foolish behavior, they instead choose to get mad, pout, and be in denial of the entire thing. What's it? I'm I'm so confused. Like, did were these people that are celebrate that were celebrating in the streets? Were they in the stadium, and then they left early because because they thought the miss free was the end of the game? I'm so baffled how like how you wouldn't wait until the final the, the final sort of the final buzzer the final whistle like finishes and you actually know it's over. Because surely these are people who are fan that have been fans of the sports for years. Like, surely they would know that like, it's not completely finished. Another case of celebrating too early gone wrong. But as a fan, there isn't much you can do to help your team win. Of course, staying until the end and actually watching the game would be a good place to start. <laughs> However, being the reason why your team loses 
is a whole different problem. Okay. Which is exactly what this player was guilty of back in 2013. What's he done then? It's the state championship game. New Rochelle High School in black versus Mount Vernon in white. We're tuning in with just 2.9 seconds left on the clock. Mount Vernon is up by two with New Rochelle inbounding the ball. This is a tough situation for New Rochelle, but we've seen worse. With no timeouts left and enough time to put up one shot, the game is pretty much in the books. All Mount Vernon has to do is get a stop. Really not much to it. It would take a miracle for New Rochelle to win this game. A miracle, yeah? A miracle, yeah? Oh my god. Why? Wait, see, like, he throws it to him, yeah? You should have just held on to it, bro. Oh, you've had a stinker, bro. <laughs> With the basketball IQ of a small child, a player from Mount Vernon <laughs> makes the play of a lifetime by intercepting the inbounds pass, but then throws the ball up to run out the clock. Then my man from New Rochelle puts up a what a shot, by the way, and hits it. <laughs> what a shot! Game. And just like that, I can't even forget that. That's an insane is shot. Overwhelmed with all the clout his heart desires, and this guy is reevaluating his oh, entire he's shoved. Oh, The man. entire New Rochelle team rushes the court. State champion. Look at they just getting tra like but trampled wait. on. Just seconds after New Rochelle hits the game winner, the refs call off the shot saying the ball did not leave the player's hands in time so that's a case of double early celebration oh madness ensues people oh my god oh my god okay this video oh they're about to go mad they're about to go crazy we're going crazy not a single person in the building has any idea of what's oh going no on. it's absolute chaos but wait. You can't take that away from them, man. Okay. Wait. The refs discuss the shot some more and come to the conclusion that the shot was good. Okay. So they re reverse their call. I scared for a second. And just like that, New Rochelle are state champions. Jesus. What is going on? This has got to be the most chaotic That's game nuts. I've ever seen on a basketball That court. is insanity, bro. matters worse, the ref hits the entire... If, he, if the ref said, this isn't counting, there was going to be a fight. I'm not. There would have been a fight. I don't even care. There would have there would have been a fight or like some sort of like something would have gone on in, on this court that shouldn't have happened after if he didn't make this, that decision. Because mate, I can only imagine like celebrating like that, thinking you've won, and then to be taken away. You would be fuming. Oh mate. Your arena with the call, then does the dash on him. <laughs> Just run, runs off, runs away. He knows he's gonna piss people off. In of a matter that. of sixty seconds. Mount Vernon goes from state champions to losing on a last second prayer to state champions again to going out sad with no title. Truly That's an nuts. extreme case of celebrating too early. But I think all these players and fans could learn a thing or two about celebrating. There's a time and a place for it. And it's not locked outside the arena, it's not on the court, and it's definitely not while the game is still going on. Hope you all enjoyed. What a video. And as man. always, until next time. This was insane. I've really enjoyed this, man. I want to see this one again quickly. Like, this. The basketball IQ of a small child, a player from Mount Vernon makes the play of a lifetime by intercepting the inbounds pass, but then throws the ball up to run out the clock. Then my no, man from I mean, New Rochelle puts up a 60. That shot is disgusting. If he disqualified that, bro, if he disqualified that shot and didn't allow it, oh mate, there would have been chaos. It's it. Game. And just like. What a video. This was insane. This was insane. I really enjoyed this one. This is something completely different to what I've usually, like, I usually see, but mate.
there's more like this I would love to see because this sort of stuff is so sort of like random. But yo, this is a banger, man. Let's just see the comments. Yo, I feel bad for the kids who, who were there, who were there to see the game and had to leave because of their parents. Oh, mate. You could have witnessed greatness, and then your parents are like, oh, let's 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 go before the traffic gets here. Like, come on, you're robbing your kids off of an of an historical event, man. Come on. You forgot Rockets fans who left and wasn't able to witness Team X 30 points in 33 seconds. I've heard about this. I feel like I may have seen it in a clip before. But, it, it, like, oh, that was right at the end of the game as well. So they left and didn't see it. Yo, that's mental. Imagine missing that, bro. Imagine how much it would suck if you didn't see those clutch shot in history, mate. I mean, I feel like you kind of deserve it. If you've left early to try and avoid traffic when you're watching... And you paid so much for like six hundred dollars for a ticket to see, you, to see you. You you paid that much to see it, and you just go early because oh let's miss this let's avoid the traffic. You deserve to miss that man. Leaving early just pisses me off, and I get why some people do it, but like, in the grand scheme of things, man, it's traffic. You're there. You're there to see. You're there to see like the highest level of like of the sport, and because of traffic, you're just like nah. Let's just go early. Let's just risk seeing the greatest moment of all time. And obviously, it's good speaking in hindsight because these things are so rare. But it just it goes to show that you shouldn't leave, you shouldn't really be leaving early if you still have an opportunity of winning. Like it's just it's just crazy to me. But yo, this is an insane video. I really enjoyed this, and I'm rounding at this point. But hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Until next time, like, subscribe, peace.